Stefan, we hear a lot about 5G. Um, you know, it's certainly every new generation of mobile technology gets a lot of uh, a lot of mindshare, a lot of uh, press. Is 5G competitive to fiber, or should we look at it more as being a complementary type technology to fiber? How do you look at 5G and fiber? I'm uh, I'm in complete alignment with with your uh, uh, with, with your second your second view on fiber and 5G. They are they are perfectly complementary, and it's in fact something we've learned, you know, years ago in this industry. You know, every time there's a new technology, we get we get stuck on the new tech on the new technology, and it's going to solve every problem. And then a few years later, we discover that that's not exactly the case, and you need to have multiple options available so that operators can choose the right tool for the job. And that's really the only thing that matters. If you want to make the business case work uh, for broadband, you need to be able to select the right tool for the job. And that depends on the speed you want to deliver. It depends on the, the ease or the difficulty you have in a certain area, in a certain neighborhood to deploy fiber or other technologies. And based on that, you're going to select either, you know, fi either uh, fiber to the home, you're going to select fixed wireless access, or you're going to upgrade your DSL or your or your cable infrastructure. Um, so having these options available uh, is critical. Now that being said, fiber and fixed wireless access are actually perfectly complementary. Uh, if you're a, a fixed operator or a converged operator, you can use fixed wireless access to cover areas where the business case for for fiber to the home simply doesn't work. Uh, extremely remote areas where you have to where you have to uh, to pull miles of fiber just to connect a single farm, that business case will never work. Uh, similarly, you can use fixed wireless access to achieve a very fast time to market. If you're deploying fiber to the home, okay, it, it is going to take time. There are areas where it's going to take a few years before you reach them. In those areas, you can start offering a service today using fixed wireless access. And then by the time you run out of spectrum, uh, you actually have built out the fiber network and you can switch subscribers to the fiber to the home network and free up the spectrum. And if you're a mobile operator, then fixed wireless access is the only infrastructure you have. You have you're building out radio capacity anyway. You might as well use that to also offer uh, to also offer a fixed service and fixed wireless access allows you to do so. So fiber to the home and 5G fixed wireless access are actually are actually perfect complements to each other.